We've already gone quite a bit over and into our discussion time, just getting to this point with the logistics. Let me introduce myself quickly. My name is Mark Canavera. I am the director of the Care and Protection of Children or CPC Learning Network uh, at Columbia University. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Mark Canavera. Je suis le directeur uh, du réseau d'apprentissage pour la protection et la prise en charge des enfants à la Columbia University à New York. Um, we are going to spend the next 50 minutes uh, discussing three questions in smaller breakout rooms. And I am going to share them with you here. And then Richard is going to share them in um, French as well. Um, it would have so the three questions, and we really recommend that you spend about 10 minutes on each of these, just 10 minutes. Uh, when you think of your work in the sector of child protection in humanitarian action, what is working well? What are some of the key challenges? And then thirdly, what are the key priorities for the sector that we should focus on? Um, so those are fairly straightforward questions, I hope. Uh, Richard, would you like to share them in um, French? Will do. So let me just share my screen. Et voilà. So, nous avons les questions au-dessus, at the bottom there. Voilà. Lorsque vous pensez à notre travail dans le secteur de la protection de l'enfant dans l'action humanitaire, qu'est-ce qui fonctionne bien? Quels sont les principaux défis auxquels nous sommes confrontés dans ce secteur? Et quelles sont les principales priorités du secteur sur lesquelles nous devrions nous concentrer dans les, dans les quelques années à venir? So, um, we will divide you into groups. I think we are 18 participants. Audrey, what do you think of three groups? Does that sound about right rather than two? Or would we rather have two slightly larger groups? We can try in three groups. It depends if how many French speaking people we have. Uh, voila, many. So it's max. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we will um, try three groups here and um, just take 10 minutes. So until about 30 past the hour on the first question, another 10 minutes, 40 past the hour on the second, and then another 10 minutes, 50 past the hour on the third, and then we will reconvene. Uh, you will have a Jamboard. Uh, we will be visiting each small group uh, uh, to uh, um, help you flip through these Jamboards. Um, and please do identify somebody, a, a rapporteur or two people to bring the ideas back together. And we will hope to be back together at about 8.50, although we might take a few extra minutes. Uh, and we'll discuss for 20 minutes before taking a break. Does this sound good? I think Very good, thank you. So what I'm now going to do is to uh, open up the rooms and I'm just assigning people manually. Uh, so I'm just, uh, for those who are French speaking, they will be going in first. And I am adding the, um, uh, so w when you are invited to join, then please uh, click OK on it and join that room. And when will they get the Jamboard links now or? Oh, yeah, sorry, group? that is right. My, my mistake, Mark. Well spotted. Yes, please don't go quite yet because I needed to, uh, to do that. Let me just uh, paste in the link to the Jamboard. So yeah. I'm just. Yes, I was just getting ahead of myself there. So. Okay, so what I've done is I've pasted a link into the uh, into the chat and that will take you to the uh, the message for the for the Google slides for uh, sorry the the Jamboards because we're using Jamboards today yes so that will take you to the the Google document and when you see your room number appear 
on the breakout room invitation. That is your breakout room number, and that's the number that should match the Jamboard that you open. I hope that's clear. Uh, welcome back. Soyez les bienvenus de, de retour um, à nouveau. And we're, we're just going to take 13 minutes now to hear essentially your answers to questions three. Um, the priorities and we're going to try as a group to identify five priorities that we would like to bring back to the plenary after the break. So I'm going to ask group one, qui était votre rapporteur? Uh, cette personne peut parler en français et je vais traduire en anglais. Uh, et commencer par le troisième diapo ou le troisième jamboard avec les priorités. I guess it will be me. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I can do that in English as well directly, Mark. Um, so we actually identified four priorities. Uh, we had rich discussions, so it was quite difficult to come in a more concise way. The first one is um, integration in preventive activities, in prevention activities. So to think about when we are doing prevention to have already some, um, some uh, integrated programming. The second one is how we can strengthen advocacy. The third one is research and evidence generation. Although we had a debate around that because we've seen that as um, as a success as well as a challenge, uh, because what we need to agree upon is um, to make sure that we just don't collect data for the sake of collecting data and we need to like work on the ethic, etc. And the last one is uh, keep working on integration and multi sectoral approach. Okay, thank you. Um, would anyone like to add, I'd like to hear a little bit more from your group about what integration and prevention activities means. Would you or someone else from the group like to, um, like to share? Est-ce que quelqu'un d'autre dans le groupe voudrait euh, partager un tout petit peu plus ce qu'on qu disait par rapport à l'intégration? Je ne suis pas toute seule à parler. Je ne suis pas sûre d'avoir exactement compris euh, ce qu'était la volonté euh, dans, dans, ce, dans, dans cette partie-là, mais de ce que j'ai entendu et de ce que j'ai euh, compris, c'est la volonté de, de, de regarder un peu plus et d'approfondir de, de, le travail de, de, dans la protection de l'enfance, dans la partie euh, prévention, euh, pour pouvoir avoir une meilleure réponse euh, quand il y a des, des situations d'urgence. Donc, c'est intégrer euh, la protection de l'enfance dans la, dans la prévention afin De, de pouvoir répondre d'une meilleure façon. C'est ce que j'ai compris. <laughs> Do you want me to translate as well? Sure. Thank you. Okay, so from what I understood is that um, uh, this is the willingness of um, 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 having, uh, like, think of child protection within uh, prevention. Uh, when we are like um, preparing intervention, we can already think about including child protection activities in order to quickly respond when there is an emergency and uh, when we need to um, uh, respond uh, quickly. So really thinking and preparing, like in preparation. So pr prevention uh, activities, sorry, it's a bit confusing. I hope it was clear enough. Thank you. I'd also just like to hear quickly from group two um, and if the rapporteur could turn on their cam and turn off their mic and share their priorities and see if there's overlap and if not we'll need to select five of these to bring to the plenary. Hi Mark, I think I'm the rapporteur. Um, sorry I only speak English so maybe I can go slowly and you can help me to translate. Perfect. Um, so we had um, five priorities, I think, that we haven't quite yet um, 
prioritize. So the first one is um, that we'd like to focus on disseminating all of the guidance and capacity building materials that we've developed over the last years in the Alliance and focus this next strategy period on um, socializing them and contextualizing them and making sure all practitioners um, everywhere know exactly what resources are available to them and um, feel that they're easily accessible and usable. Right. Donc, uh, pour ça, c'est vraiment de mettre l'accent sur la dissémination et l'utilisation, la so socialisation uh, de toutes les bonnes pratiques et, et les directives qui ont déjà été élaborées jusqu'à là pour une bonne utilisation. Thanks, Mark. Um, another one is um, this continued integration with other sectors. We think we're doing a good job, but um, we could do more to um, both mainstreaming, so making sure other sectors know about uh, CP risks and mitigate those in their own delivery of services, but then also looking at more integrated programming and how we can um, reach new outcomes together. So I think one example of this is um, looking at more inclusive programming. So for example, of uh, different gender and sexual identities and partnering potentially with SRHR colleagues, for example, to um, be a safer and uh, yeah, more inclusive response um, so that all children feel they can access services equally. Ce groupe aussi a parlé de l'intégration de la protection de l'enfant avec d'autres secteurs et ils ont surtout discuté comment uh, intégrer de manière de Uh, oh, j'ai oublié la deuxième partie uh, pour améliorer l'inclusion, pour améliorer l'inclusion de tout le monde. Et, par exemple, comment intégrer la protection de l'enfant avec des enfants de diverses sexualités et intégrer la protection de l'enfant dans les programmes de santé reproductive. Thanks, The next piece uh, maybe I could talk about is, is more simple. So continued engagement with donors to increase funding for CP. Troisième point, c'est de continuer à engager les, les donateurs pour uh, financer les programmes de protection de l'enfant. And then, sorry, my last two, Mark, I know I'm taking time, so I'll go, I'll go quickly. Um, The last two was uh, the first to, to also continue um, prevention work. Uh, so we need to build uh, additional skills on social and behavior change so that we are actually um, addressing violence before it happens. So not just uh, awareness raising campaigns, but really meaningfully strengthening prevention. Donc, de, comme le premier groupe a dit, de vraiment améliorer le, le travail de prévention pour que ça s'arrête avant que la violence n'arrive au niveau de l'enfant. And last one. Last one was just um, to strengthen the child participation um, component. This is something we've talked about many in the last few days. Um, so our suggestion was maybe to revitalize the Delphi study from the AIM working group and maybe expand it to not just be children's participation in assessments, but the rest of the programming cycle and see how we can safely uh, bring children more meaningfully into our work. Donc, euh, eux, ils ont fin, fini en parlant de, de comment renforcer la participation en recommandant de de, de revisiter et d'élargir uh, une étude qui a été faite uh, pour comprendre comment mieux engager les enfants. Cette étude était sur les, les analyses de besoins, mais on pourrait l'élargir à, à tout le, le cycle des programmes. Thank you, Group 2. Thank you. I'm going to just point out too that we're clearly overlaps in both and assume that because we had those, we kind of have two of our top three priorities here. And then when I think about the, um, you know, we, remaining ones, uh, would just love to hear from those of you who feel passionate about other ones. First of all, we have this notion of uh, multi-sectoral work and how do we make sure that child protection is mainstreamed in and 
contributing to and benefiting from uh, other sectors. Donc, cette idée de, du travail multisectoriel uh, et comment la pro protection de l'enfant peut contribuer à et bénéficier de, des autres programmes. Secondly, uh, even though the Alliance already has a prevention initiative underway and has really focused on this, there seems to be a common understanding of, um, uh, you know, the need for, for additional focus on both how do we uh, ensure that preventive activities are uh, helping violence to not happen, uh, but also how do we use other activities and insert prevention in them. Donc, uh, au niveau de, de la prévention, bien qu'il y ait déjà une initiative en cours, uh, il semble que les gens veulent continuer à y mettre l'accent. Uh, J'ajoute que um, c'est non seulement la pr prévention des violences, mais aussi uh, comment insérer des activités ou des idées uh, préventatives dans les autres activités qui sont déjà en cours. So, with just two minutes left, I'd love to hear from, you know, two or, Audrey, please go. No, I wanted to say actually, I've seen two others that I would like to put on the table and maybe hear from colleagues about that. The first please. one that I think we have in common although it hasn't been said in the same way, is strengthen advocacy and continued engagement with donors from more funding. And I could see that advocacy would be part of it. So, je disais que je voyais une, une opportunité qui est vraisemblablement le plaidoyer, parce que notre groupe a, demandé, a, a proposé de renforcer le plaidoyer, et le groupe d'à côté a parlé de continuer son engagement avec les donneurs pour plus de financement, et ça se passerait par du plaidoyer. Donc j'aimerais bien entendre de votre part. And the second was um, the research. Et Alex était en train de parler, donc la recherche. Et Alex parlait justement de revisiter uh, des, des recherches qui avaient été faites et, et nous on a parlé aussi de faire de la recherche même si le, le, les sujets sont différents even if the topics are different but happy to hear from colleagues Uh, le time est presque fini. Uh, I would just add, it wasn't just doing, there was Alex's example of the research, but that notion of the use of technical guidance um, and the dissemination, so, socialization and uptake uh, as well. Who would like to say something in our last minute together? And then there will be a 20 minute break and then um, we will be back in plenary. I would love to um, nominate someone. Is there anyone? I, I'm happy to feed back into the plenary as well. Um, but um, if someone else would like to from this session, we haven't had much time together. Who would like to say one more thing that has struck them during this session, given that we need to head into the... Right. <coughs> Sorry, can I, can I just add one more thing? Please. Uh, and I do nominate you to feedback. So, by the way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think for me the 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 research and and use of technical guidance is is fine. I completely agree with the advocacy, um, but I do think that that we were very specific in in the focus on child participation as a real gap, uh, and and that that should be a real priority. So. Uh, je voulais dire que à propos de, de la recherche et, et, et tout ça, que c'est vraiment la participation de, de l'enfant dans ce processus, dans les programmes, etc., qu qui, qui doit être une priorité pour nous. C'est mon avis. Okay, I think we are going to take a 20 minute break now and then we will rejoin in the plenary. Uh, Richard, is, there are specific pieces of guidance for us to do to bear in mind as we do that? Yes, uh, indeed. So we're going to take the break until 30 minutes past the hour. The Zen room will be open for anyone who'd like to join a bit of yoga over the break. Uh, if you're planning to leave your computers entirely, may we ask you to make your way over to the plenary space in Kiko chat and join that Zoom room now before you go because that way you'll be in the correct space for the report back session, which will start right after the break. So that will be in the plenary at half past the hour. 
I hope that's clear. And Audrey, let me pass over to you. Yeah, rapidement. Donc, on va sortir de cette, de cette salle. On a 20 minutes de pause. Vous pouvez soit aller faire du yoga en cliquant sur le lien sur PicoChat, soit aller directement vous mettre dans le plenary pour la prochaine session. Et quand vous vous éloignez de votre ordinateur, vous mettez votre micro et votre caméra sur off. Comme ça, il n'y a, a pas de nuisance sonore. Donc, vous sortez de cette salle, vous allez sur PicoChat, vous choisissez où vous voulez aller et on se retrouve en plénarie à 3h30. OK?